opening a file and reading in each of its lines as items in a part of the Python list is actually a very useful thing and something we commonly would like to do. So it turns out that Python has a function for doing this that allows us to simply apply it to the file object and then it reads all the lines in without us having to do any of the kind of iteration that we did up there. If I run this code, I can see that the problem is that we end up with the same issue that we had here, which is that each of the list items, which are strings, comes in with the trailing new line. And because we don't have any way to strip off each one as we iterate through the list, there isn't any uh, straightforward way to get rid of those trailing new lines. Another possible way to deal with this problem would be to use the split method. We first encountered the split method when we were looking at various string methods, and we saw how the split method could be used to separate a string by things like commas or tabs or periods or any other sort of character we wanted. Since the new line character is just a character like all the other ones, albeit an invisible character, we can split a string um, according to the position of the new line characters in the string. So the difference here is that we have to read the entire string in uh, from the file object as a single string. And then after we've read it in as a single string, we apply the split method to it. And that should result in a list of each of the lines in the text file. So we can see that that worked almost perfectly we got rid of the trailing new lines, but it turns out there is one other possible problem. We saw that on our original file, we had this trailing new line at the end. And since we're splitting at each of the new lines, it's splitting off the string that comes after the final new line, which is an empty string. So we see that the last list item here is an empty string. And that's not really probably what we want. We just want the lines that have text. We don't really want it to uh, include the empty string. So to solve the problem of this trailing new line, there is a different string method called split lines. So it very specifically splits on any kind of character that is typically used for ending lines, such as new lines. So the first part is the same. We read the whole file object in as a single string, but then we use the split lines method on it. If we run this, we will see that that has solved the problem of the trailing new line that we had here and that our line that we get, it contains only the three strings that I care about. It does not include an additional one for the last trailing new line. At this point, you're probably wondering why I made you suffer through all of these different methods of reading in multi-line text files as lists. Why don't we just always use the read method and then split lines? Well, there's a couple reasons for this. This method actually works quite well for any file that's not too big, but sometimes files are huge and it is not practical to read the entire file in as a single string. Um, it, in fact, th there might be hundreds of thousands or even millions of lines, and you simply couldn't read them all in at one time. You'd have to read them in one line at a time. In that kind of situation, uh, iterating through each of the lines makes a lot more sense. The other thing is that we will also see there are other sorts of methods for reading in files where we do need to iterate through the file object and read them in one line at a time. And in those cases, the split lines is not the easiest way to do things. We'll see an example of this in the next lesson.